everyone it is dr mohammed afiz uh, today we will discuss about the mean deviation pattern standard de mean deviation and pattern standard deviation that is the zone 6th of the humphreys uh, single printed chart okay we will start the class what is mean deviation according to becker sheffer mean deviation or also known as uh, also known as uh, mean defect mean defect is the difference between the means of the responses of the subject responses of the subject and uh, to that of uh, uh, difference between the means of the response of the subject and the responses of the age matched normal subjects already there is an age matched normal subjects in the computer that detects the responses of the subject is the mean mean of the both the things so difference between them is called as mean deviation now we will see okay this is the patient's data for example if you plot the uh, normal sen sensitivities of each field if this would be the patient's data understood and there is a defect there this is how it goes and this would be the uh, age matched normal data and if you take the mean of the mean of all these data you will get a you will get a mean line there this mean this is the mean line this line this is the mean of the patient's value and this is the mean of the normal aged matched data and when you compare these two mean of that of the mean of the patient and of the mean of the normal data normal age matched controls this is the defect you will get this deviation is called the mean deviation this is the mean deviation now what is the problem with the mean deviation for example uh, this is the patient's data and this is the age matched control the mean deviation should be closely equal to zero or uh, it should be almost equal to zero mean deviation in case of normal but this can uh, but in generalized depression like cataract or meiosis or uh, what is that your uh, refractive error what happens is even though the patient doesn't have any glaucoma in that case for example see this is the normal patient and this is also a normal patient but it is there is a generalized depression see ov overall the overall the sensitivity has been depressed due to uh, refractive error or meiosis or cataract overall so what happens in that case still you will get a mean devi mean deviation even though the patient doesn't have a glaucoma patient will still get a mean deviation this is the problem with the mean deviation even though there was no glaucomatous uh, visual field defect there can be still an increased mean deviation or mean defect mean defect that is due to generalized depression so in general we can say mean deviation can be increased that is negatively increased in case of general depression seen in glaucomatous in, in early case of glaucomatous when there is generalized depression you will still get a mean deviation but in non glaucomatous conditions like uh, cataract or uh, Uh, refractive error etc and also in case of large scotoma previously we have seen that slide large scotoma also you will get a mean deviation mean defect but this will not differentiate which uh, whether it is due to large scotoma or there is or it is due to generalized depression okay now for that reason we have to we have also have to see what is the pattern standard deviation you will see one more uh, value there that is called as pattern standard deviation in zone 6 pattern standard deviation is nothing but a fancy name given to the standard deviation in statistical uh, term you call it as a in statistics you call it as a st uh, standard deviation what is standard deviation standard deviation nothing but it is the square root of sigma of uh, mean minus uh, the actual value to the square n minus 1 for example if you see if this is the uh, f uh, just uh, we'll just say at 30 degree 30 degree of the central view we will not talk, uh, talk about the entire visual field 30 degree because usually we see at the third. for example this is the 30 degree value of the patient understood and if you take the mean of all this point if you take the mean of all this point it will be somewhere here okay mean mean of all this portion will be somewhere here now what does it mean is this is the mean that is your x bar and at each point for example at this point what is the difference what is the x minus x x is the real sensitivity of the patient and x bar is the mean what is the difference and every point it is calculated each time when you calculate you square it 
So this means if all points close to the, for, uh, what, what does that mean is difference between the mean and the actual value at each point. At each point you will calculate this x minus x bar and square it. Why do you square it? To uh, uh, to eliminate uh, to eliminate any negative values. It is like modulus. What you see is modulus. You take the absolute value and sum of all those points. You, you add all those points and divide by n minus 1. It gives the average. See, if for every for any average to be taken, n uh, it sh you should divide the value by n. But in some statistical things, they will divide by n minus one because they have seen this n minus one gives the actual population value. When you project it to the population, n minus one will give close to the population value. So you divide by n minus one, so you get the average. And then you, since you have squared here, they take a square root of that. So it's nothing but. is nothing but mean value and actual value of each, each point and square it sum of all points of that point is the mean and mean minus the uh, sensitivity value square it and divide by n minus 1 that will that is the sigma of all that each value you should each value you take this one each each point you take this value that is that is called a sigma then you divide by n minus to get the average and square rooted understood so in case in case if the mean is very close for example if this is the value if this is the th central 30 degree values and if this is the mean the mean is very close to the mean is very close to the each value if you can see mean is very close understood if there is a mean is very close x minus x square is very small very small value understood if mean is around uh, say 2 and x, x, x is around uh, 1, this value will be 1. If you do 1, 1 square it will be. Understood. In case of normal patients, when the mean is very close to the uh, actual value, this x minus x square will be very small. And when you do, when you do this uh, standard deviation, your pattern standard deviation or the standard deviation will be very small. That in the case of normal people, this is this value will be very small. In case there is no outlier. Okay, for example, for example, see if we if we see a generalized depressed case, we, we if we see a generalized depression case also, central thirty degree if you take. Still, the uh, mean uh, ex pattern de standard deviation will be normal. Why? Because mean of that and the actual value of that will be very close in case of generalized depression. Understood? So, pattern standard deviation will be normal. But if you take, but if you take uh, glaucoma, uh, glaucomatous condition where there is a large defect, for example, if this was the central 30 degree and there is a large defect in that area understood and the mean is somewhere here it was close to all the values all the other values mean this mean was close to the all the other value but at certain region it is very far so it will be x minus x bar x x minus x bar minus x the whole square here it is very small and here it is very small but here at this area this x bar minus x the whole square becomes very large understood very large because of because uh, uh, mean is away from the mean is away from this uh, sensitivity value because of large depression in the uh, because of in large scotoma large scotoma that is the reason in case of uh, large scotoma or glaucomatous condition you will get an increased in glaucomatous condition you will get an increased pattern standard deviation Understood. Even though uh, in large scotoma mean deviation can be small or mean deviation can be small in generalized depression also, but pattern standard deviation will actually differentiate uh, if there is a generalized depression or localized depression, localized depression due to scotoma, uh, due to glaucoma, PSD will increase in this case. But generalized depression might be normal as I shown you in the fi previous figure. Okay. Now, what is corrected the pattern standard deviation? See, it is nothing but the pattern standard deviation only, but it is corrected for short term fluctuation. Uh, what is short term fluctuation is uh, around 8 point, for, uh, if I have shown that figure, yeah, I have shown here. There are some 10 predetermined points 
where the short term fluctuation is checked for example consider this is the point this is the point these are the predetermined point where intra test variability will be there the during the test uh, the computer will detect twice or thrice or sometimes like that so at that time when due to the normal tendency patient normal tendency of the person sometimes it will detect here sometimes it will be detected it will fluctuate around the mean around the normal value when you correct it for uh, short term fluctuation see if if you take the actual graph uh, there will be some inter test variable variability will be there but when you do uh, when you correct it for short term fluctuation the graph becomes a little bit smooth even though the, if there is a defect also it, the graph overall graph becomes smooth when you correct this short term fluctuation and then you take the pattern standard deviation this gives the cp uh, corrected pattern standard deviation so this gives a more clear picture this will eliminate the normal intra test intra test variability that is your short term fluctuation it will eliminate that and it will give a correct value of uh, pattern standard deviation this is called as corrected pattern standard deviation okay these things will uh, actually give your uh, whether the patient the, the, whether the defect is due to Uh, large scotoma or localized scotoma in glaucoma or it is a generalized depression generalized depression can also be present in case of glaucoma for that you have to check other parameters or it is me or if a patient is having any other refractive error or cataract or meiosis or due to that okay thank you if any doubt any correction kind uh, please let me know in the comment box kindly like share subscribe and click the bell icon for further uh, for notification of further videos thank you thank you